Hello, welcome to Audible YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Krishnan. Today we are going to learn a very useful and very interesting topic called parallel matrix. Okay, so this is one of the very useful uh, feature in GitLab that is introduced uh, with version 13.3 of GitLab, and this helps to reduce a lot of uh, works and time. Like if you need to execute some jobs in parallel. Okay, for an example, just consider if you want to do your uh, test execution with the different browsers okay and currently your test suite, test suite doesn't have a feature of parallel execution but you want to execute that uh, from pipeline in parallel okay so what you can do you can pass the browser names in parallel and you can trigger different jobs right so that is one possibility so this can be easily implemented using parallel metrics okay or just consider if you want to do the 45 scanning okay 40 scanning and you want to pass different values to that particular scanner okay so the value will be different but the method of scanning will be same okay so you have different releases so you have to pass the release and variables based on the release but the scanning process will be same okay so in this kind of scenarios you can use the parallel matrix to reuse the script or the job and to execute it with a different set of values okay so before going there i will show you the tradition method like how we were doing this kind of process previously okay before uh, coming this before implementing this parallel matrix and what was the tradition method we were we were following okay so just consider my <coughs> requirement is i need to implement a solution for executing this particular command okay robot uh, command this is for executing the uh, test suite uh, in that has written in robot framework okay so what i'm going to do is let me declare a job okay so dot test jobs okay i'm going to declare the stage uh, maybe test okay script i'm going to set it like i'm just copying this one okay okay uh, instead of running this i'm just going to uh, pass it as a variable instead of just hard coding this value i'm just going to pass it as a variable i'm naming it like a browser name <laughs> okay so my requirement is i need to execute this test job with a different set of browser names okay maybe safari chrome edge something like that okay so in tradition method what we were doing we'll be declaring a job test chrome okay and uh, i may be extending this particular uh, job right test test chance and the next what i will be doing i will be declaring variables okay and i will be passing this browser name sorry this uh, i'll be passing this uh, browser name right so how will be passing mm so name maybe i'll be passing it like chrome okay so i'm just going to copy paste this entire thing okay so instead of this i'm going to pass it like a safari i'm going to rename it like a safari okay and this one i'm going to name it like edge this one also i'm going to name it like edge okay so now what i have done uh, Okay, let me replace this equal to with hyphen so what i have done like a uh, uh, you know to execute this particular uh, script with a different set of value i have declared different jobs okay so this will execute this particular uh, script with the value uh, browser name as chrome again this will execute uh, safari with the safari and again this will execute with the browser name as edge okay so let me publish this okay so let me go here okay here you can see the job is executing okay and the three jobs are executing what are these jobs uh, the test chrome test safari and test edge so 
here why we have why we have duplicated this job only to execute this particular script with the different variables right so there comes the beauty of a parallel matrix okay i will show you how you can easily do that so let's first complete this one okay so here you can see the first job is completed with the browser as chrome and the second one edge okay let's see how it is going to execute here you can see browser as edge okay so this was the traditional method of doing by just adding some uh, different set of jobs for each variable right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this with a um, uh, parallel matrix okay so before to that let me set the stage first what is the stage i'm going to run it in stages okay and uh, i'm going to declare a new job maybe test execution okay and the stage i'm going to set it like a test because i already declared the stage as a test okay then i'm going to implement the parallel matrix okay so how we can implement that parallel then matrix okay then what should be the variable name the variable name is uh, chrome okay i'm going to pass it like a list okay so we'll just consider chrome uh maybe edge okay maybe um firefox okay then maybe safari okay and uh, the script what should be the script that i need to execute script can be um, this particular same thing right i'm just copying and pasting it over here and before to that let me add a sleep also maybe some sleep file okay so that's it so now what i have done instead of repeating all these jobs i just simply declared a job and i have implemented the parallel matrix okay and in matrix i am going to pass this browser name as in a list instead of passing it like a, uh, a variable in different uh, jobs right so this is very easy the main importance is for example just consider in future if you want to implement uh, firefox here okay again you will have to uh, create one more job right so the scalability is very less and it's very difficult to handle also uh, but if you go here uh, if you just want to add one more uh, uh, browser in future you just need to add it here in the parametrics right the same script will be useful for the execution with a new variable that we are going to add in the parametrics okay so let me do one thing let me clear this up there is no need of a test job okay we have implemented the or we, we have created a new uh, job called test execution we set the stage as test and we have implemented the parallel matrix in parallel matrix we have added the variable and we have added all the values here and this is a comma separated values and inside the script it is going to consume this browser name uh, to execute okay so now in this case this test execution is going to execute in parallel okay but there can be scenarios like uh, you want to do one by one maybe like a first you need to execute for chrome then once it is completed then you need to execute for edge something like that right i will show you how you can implement that as well so before do that let me commit this uh, uh, new changes matrix implementer okay seeing the changes So let me go to pipelines. Okay, so here you can see it has uh, triggered uh, four parallel jobs, and uh, each parallel job is going to use uh, this particular values. Okay, so the first parallel job is going to use Chrome, second parallel job is going to use Edge, and uh, third is going to fire, uh, use Firefox, and fourth is going to use a Safari. So these values are coming from this particular matrix right let me go here okay here you can see it has used a chrome right and uh, same thing let me go to edge 
okay here you can see it has used edge okay so this is how you can easily implement the parallel matrix but uh, one interesting thing is like uh, here all the jobs is executed in parallel right but uh, i have one requirement like uh, first i need to execute uh, one job then once it is completed then only i need to go to the second job okay so how uh, you can do that for that what you can do is um, you can set the uh, resource group for that okay so how we can set the resource group is resource group then use the same job okay so in parallel what is happening it is going to execute with the same job name but with the different values right so if we set resource group what will happen is if one job got started first it will wait for that particular job to complete then only it will start uh, the other jobs uh, in sequential okay so all the jobs will be triggered but the remaining jobs will be in process stage only one job will get a uh, uh, change to in progress stage okay i will show you how it is going to work mm -hmm. resource group implemented okay and one more thing that we need to notice is here we just pass through only one value okay only browser name we have passed okay so i will show you like how you can pass other values also um, so let me commit it yeah it is uh, it has triggered okay the interesting thing is like here you can see the chrome is executed and remaining all three jobs are in postal state right so it will wait for the first thing to complete then only the second job will get a uh, uh, start for the execution okay and here you can see it is waiting for the uh, particular resource okay um so uh, one thing that you have to keep in memory is like uh, here we have a different uh, browsers right like chrome edge firefox and safari so if you implement the resource group like there is no order is there like uh, first it will execute with the chrome then it will go with edge okay it's not like that randomly it pick up one of the variable and it will start the execution okay so just consider uh, uh first it has started the execution with firefox then for the second execution it may take a chrome okay so there is no specific order for the parallel execution okay so now uh, we have learned like how you can um, use a particular uh, variable and how you can uh, implement the parallel matrix right so if you want to set one more variable what you can do is or one more va value uh, what you can do is uh, maybe um, browser name or maybe the method okay you have a method <coughs> and uh, you want to use uh, sanity okay just consider if this is a case you can uh, declare something like this okay and uh, you can pass this uh, variable somewhere here to execute it like a sanity okay and uh, in order to make it more hygiene i will do one thing okay so my requirement is like i need to execute chrome with the uh, uh, sanity and edge for regression and firefox for maybe uh, some other uh, smoke testing and uh, safari for uh, some other uh, testing purpose okay so what i'm going to do is instead of uh, making the modifications here i'm just going to entirely take this uh, parallel matrix out of the scope okay out of this job okay i'm going to declare one more job here dot uh, parallel okay parallel matrix then we have a parallel is there okay then matrix then browser name so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pass it like chrome okay and then let me copy this okay this is chrome this is h okay i need to do regression okay and uh, with the firefox i need to do smoke testing and uh, with the safari 
maybe just consider pen testing okay i mean just keeping it like that and how you can use this parallel matrix uh, uh, inside your uh, test execution so why we are keeping it outside means like just consider if if i want to um update this parallel matrix i don't need to make any changes in the test execution job right i just need to append directly in the parallel matrix and i can and i can use this parallel matrix inside my test execution job right uh, so how we can use it you just need to use parallel okay my requirement is to execute in parallel right so what i'm going to execute that is a reference and what is the reference i'm going to refer this one and what i need to execute the parallel right okay it's very simple we uh, just uh, moved out the parallel matrix outside of this particular job and we are going to refer it inside the test execution job okay it's very simple and i'm going to remove this resource group so the resource group we have used in order to make the execution in seconds so let me save it matrix changes okay so instead of uh, using one list what we did we are uh, going to pass it like a different variable set okay with the different values let me commit let me sync these changes okay so there can be requirements for example uh, if we talk about a fortify scanning right for 40 fortify scanning we'll be having some different release and for different release we have to pass some uh, different variables variable set right so there you have to give uh, the particular uh, release number with the different values also there can be scenarios like uh, just consider if you want to clone some particular project okay so the path of the project is something different okay so here you can uh, define different variables maybe maybe like a project name path okay and what should be the task that you have to perform or something like that okay so based on your requirement it will change but you can use the same uh, job to uh, accomplish or to meet your requirement let me go here again okay so the execution has started yeah the execution completed in parallel and uh, here you can see browser is chrome okay sorry i forgot to add one more thing maybe i'm going to add one more variable method and i'm going to name it like a dollar method because this method is nothing but the variable that we declared here okay so this is very easy and very helpful like uh, if you want to execute the jobs in parallel without any uh, dependencies okay and if you want to still keep the dependency you can um uh use the resource uh, uh, group as well and another important thing is like uh, there is one more combination like using parallel matrix with the child pipelines okay so in the coming videos i will show you like how you can implement child pipeline and how you can inc incorporate this child pipeline with the parallel matrix okay so all these things we are going to cover in the coming videos so let me go here pipeline the execution started okay here you can see it is using two values one is chrome and sanity so this chrome and sanity is nothing but these variables right let's just add gender regression that also here you can see okay yeah it has printed both the values okay so this is how you can implement uh, parallel matrix very easily in your project to make your executions more easy and with uh, less time right so if there is any confusions related to parallel matrix please do pause in the comment section i can help you out okay so thanks for watching the video um, we'll come back with more interesting videos like child pipelines and integration of parallel matrix with a child pipeline and some other interesting features of gitlab okay so thanks for watching bye